what's up you guys it's matt here so i thought that i would create this on this channel um i was gonna do it on my main channel but i i feel as though we just need to get an understanding of what it is because there's definitely some stuff going back and forth about this play what is bonk why is it trending um what is it for all these different questions will be answered in this video if you guys wanted a full explanation there are other videos that are out there as well that were um you know early on this but i just saw it trending on twitter i saw it trending on coin market cap i saw the movement on coin market cap and i'm like what is this let's look into it a little bit so uh before we get started in this guys make sure you hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell for more videos like this one also make sure you guys check out some of the links down below um it does help out the channel quite a bit <clears throat> but um let's go ahead and dive into this so we have a uh, bank on coin market cap i want to show you this is what it looks like this is the price you have eleven thousand people or almost twelve thousand people that are watching it it's on watch list you have a point zero 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 twenty nine eighty seven uh price it's up 45 percent you see the volume up slightly you see or uh, 10 percent. you see the overall circulating supply at 56 trillion right million billion trillion 56 trillion total um supply of 99 or 98 um sorry 99.8 a trillion <clears throat> max supply does look like it is unlimited uh which means that more can be minted from what i understand it's not a total max supply or have a limited amount that can be created um you do see a fully dilution or fully uh diluted market cap of 287 million dollars or a market cap right now of 161 million dollars if we look at the price movement you know from where this was created on the 30th of um december to it increasing all the way up to this level here on the 5th up to 0 .000, 000, uh, 000 i think five zeros um you know four nine resisting from there and you see it falling down uh quite a bit um so Anyways, before we get into more of the price movement and understanding that portion of it, let's uh, get into what is uh, Bonk. So they have a one pager that really can break down this. You can go into their Bonk paper, which we can um, look at, but really it just breaks down the same thing, but just in a more um, detailed format, I guess. <clears throat> so this kind of explains everything though and what they plan to do so bonk is the first uh solana dog coin so basically trying to create that meme coin for instead of seeing uh you know uh doge coin to where they're on their own network you see um you know shiba inu they're on the ethereum network you're looking at other things that are on other networks and you see solana that needs some sort of revival right um for the people by the people with 50% of the total supply airdrop to Solana community. Uh, the bank contributors or con contributors, <clears throat> however you want to say it, uh, were tired of toxic Alameda tokenomics and wanted to make a fun meme coin uh, where everyone gets a, a fair shot. Now, hearing about something like this, whenever you think about something that could be a fun meme coin that can create a lot of popularity, when you do see popularity, it goes from being a meme coin into something that can actually have utility. However, if it's not taken seriously by everybody right from the beginning and only is taken on as more of a... Um, a, an investment that you can buy a hell of a lot of and then just sell off everything then it ends up going from being a joke to a major joke right um, we aim to bring back liquidity to solana dex's alongside open book launch in an initiative we would we like to call open bonky weird um <clears throat> the 50 percent airdrop will be split as follows 20 percent to solana nft collections um you know compromising of 297,000 individual nfts um 15 to early open book uh traders 10 to solana artists and collectors and 5 percent to solana developers for full details go and see the bonky or bonk paper um supplies will be distributed as follows so you scroll down here team development will get five percent marketing will get five percent <clears throat> initial liquidity will get five percent early contributors um will get 20 percent um 40 solana nft collection will get 20 percent early open book traders 
15%. Solana artists and collectors will get 10%. Solana developers will get 5%. So obviously what you would get from this is that you're trying to support the Solana chain. You're trying to support everything that has been done in Solana, everything that has been built uh, with Solana. You're trying to do as much as you can to support uh, what's happening here. Right. Uh, what has happened with, you know, FTX and Alameda and how, you know, Solana has been severely attacked and has a lot of fluctuation with it. Um, and, you know, seeing an airdrop that happened uh, recently, you know, people are excited. Right. So I saw this trend <clears throat> on Twitter. And I was like, all right, well, what's going on with it? Like, why is it trending? So I wanted to dive into all of this and saw what they were planning on doing here. Um, but if we go into what's happening right now, if we look at Bonk, you're gonna see they have 69,000 uh, followers, which is nice to have that number. And I don't know if they stay at that number or if it's just um, ironically at $69,000 for some sort of a, or 69,000 followers um, for a meme. I don't know. <clears throat> Um, to add to that meme but you can see you know they have a, a post on the 31st uh do you want a, a bonk domain uh, all of that uh bonk is is not a uh, a dog wait bonk is not a dog meme coin uh it's a culture coin of of a dog um that is promoted with memes interesting um so yeah, you have this whole community that's built um, here that has 69,000 followers there. But um, if we go into a different place, I wanted to look up Bonk, which is right here. Right here. <clears throat> Recently, which is 23 minutes ago, um, you saw some very uh, large negativity and it's good to see any type of jump from that. But you can see how things have fallen off and people are like, is this gonna come back or is it gonna just completely die here? Um, so I wanted to, um, express what I'm thinking about it. I'm not so sure how this will be taken on, right? Because meme coins don't just come out of the, um, come out of the blue and we, um, we promote something as something that's going to save, um, this, uh, chain and then turn into something that's as big as Shiba Inu or Dogecoin. I don't know how else to put it. Um. And when I say it doesn't come out of the blue, I didn't mean that. I mean, it's something that you don't create um, to make it seem like it comes out of the blue. Uh, a meme coin is created um, and then all of a sudden catches a lot of traction based off of um, maybe potential gains that you can gain um, or potential um, utility that could be behind it. <clears throat> but um, for this, I'm not so sure that we will see it um, move past or move to the level that Dogecoin or Shiba Inu is at, right? However, you never really know. You never truly know. It can catch a lot of traction, which has already caught a lot of traction. The last time I saw um, a um, the hashtag from it, it had like 200,000 retweets or 200,000 tweets associated with it. And then Solana Airdrop also had a lot of uh, tweets associated with it. So it could be something really big. <clears throat> However, I'm not doing anything with it. Um, not because I don't support Solana or I don't support what they have going there. Um, I just feel like trying to force a meme coin out there never really works. You know, they try to do it. Uh, the news tries to do it with um, certain positions. You know, I think what like big eyes or token or something, which could have value to it or BitGert. They push that so much. Um, but the news tries to do it and or um, articles try and do it, people try and do it, and it doesn't seem to work out well. So maybe this will work, maybe it won't, but I just wanted to get the information out there on what is uh, bonk and why are people so interested in this right now. Um, and mainly it's most likely because <clears throat> of what has happened with the overall volume. We're seeing $119 million flow through this coin that really came out of nowhere, right? And yes, um, uh, you are um, pushing it towards a, a place that does help out the Solana chain, helps out Solana in general, um, and by being created on that. Um, but I don't know. I really don't know. Um, good thing is 18 million of that 119 million is flowing through DEX volume, which is very, very interesting and love to see the decentralized uh, platforms 
um, <clears throat> uh, you know, flourish, I guess. Um, DeFi platforms uh, flourish. So anyways, guys, um, let me know what you think about this. Let me know what you think about Bonk. Uh, it's definitely something that crossed my desk and I was like, uh, okay, I guess I'll review it. I guess I'll go through this. Um, but it's definitely interesting. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you guys check out some of the links down below. It does have all the channel, but I'm gonna get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.